Death Sworn is a it's an interesting graphic novel. I've been waiting for it for a long time. It arrived this morning. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and uh, then I'll do a review video. Um, essentially, this book first came out as single issues. I have, if you go back through my channel, you'll see the review of the single issue. So I'll be interested to see how different this is because I think there was a lot of remastering done by Carlo Rowe, the creator. Uh, it's interesting from the point of view that I discovered this as an Irish indie book, which eventually turned into a comic skate, like a huge comic skate book. Uh, at the time, a lot of hype around it. Um, there's tons of story to this because uh, I followed uh, Carl's work and his antics online to the point where he eventually just disappeared offline. I'm not sure why, but um, it seems like he did definitely uh, follow through and fulfill his campaign. Uh, I, I don't know how a lot of people feel about that. I'm fine with it. Um, I've got the book here, so I, I, I'm going to be very interested in opening it and having a look through. But um, but yeah, I, I guess Carl was a polarizing figure online, especially in Ireland, because he, well, like I think the majority of people in public uh, do not like comics gay, and um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, you, you cannot be seen to support anyone who has anything associated with it, and a lot of people, I think, would have turned their back on me a little bit because I thought Carl was like a super talented artist and I just wanted to support his work because I noticed uh, not a lot of people in Ireland would touch him. They wouldn't They wouldn't try and hype him up. And um, I don't know, I just thought that was a bit sad in a way. And he's a young guy. Um, I, I've no problem with comic skate, to be honest. Uh, there's, they're all different personalities in there. I never liked that kind of tribalism too much. Uh, I just try and take each creator on their merit, and if I like their work, if I like who who they are and what they talk about, I'm gonna follow them and support them. And um, Carl was one of those guys. He was a a fellow Irish man as well, so that was kind of cool to see him on a bigger uh, indie uh, stage doing really well. So. Um, so yeah, look, I'm gonna open this up now and have a look at what came with the. I I can't I can't even remember the tears or what um what I backed to be honest. But um, let me see if I make a mess of this or what. Like I thought I'd need this knife, but maybe I don't. Actually, that's kind of cool. The uh, silver arm comics is obviously Carl's. Uh, his comic book company i always found that funny um the way comics is quite a small thing but everyone has their their small little comic uh company well i don't know if you call it a company or an imprint or something like that but um okay i'm gonna put that knife away so that i don't hurt myself and this is let me just make sure there's nothing else in there nothing else in there something here I think I think there was some kind of figurines or something like that like I'm not sure let me have a look here um, like the condition for a lot I'm not into the condition of stuff to be honest it doesn't really bother me yeah so that's the graphic novel there Um, I think the lighting set up in here in my little studio here is not great for uh, seeing this, but um, I think this was the uh, yeah, this is the black and white mini comic, or I don't know what you call it, an ash can. Uh, wow, looks amazing, incredible looking. Yeah, phenomenal. Um, I will come back to that. What's this? Oh, that's cool. That um not sure what, if that's from Death Sworn, but it's a, it's a cool print. Then here's the book itself. There look a nice little uh, head sketch from Carl Death Sworn. 
Um, some more prints. Beautiful art, like stunning artwork. Um, really, uh, like I think Carl is in his early twenties now, and um, super talented guy. I'm just delighted I backed this. Um, it looks amazing. It does look amazing. Like I can't wait to read it. I don't know how much has changed. Like I said, there was some single issues. Um, I know there was a lot of re-edits, recoloring, like tons of stuff had changed. I'm not even sure if it was finished originally in those single issues, but obviously there's going to be some kind of like uh, finale here. Um, it's book one. It's the Sun Eater. Symph oh, symphony, yeah. What's this here? Oh, actually, do you know what these are? Look, Silver Arm Comics, there's a pin and a sticker and a patch. It's pretty cool, I have to say. Um, I always think to myself, if I was doing a crowdfunded book, I wouldn't bother with any of the peripheral stuff, like, you know, like these patches and stickers. But I have to say, when you do get the get them in their... Uh, in the delivery it's pretty cool um anyway i'll leave this video at that i might just put this up my channel and then do a review later because uh, i'm supposed to be in work and i've got loads of stuff to do and i'm not sure when i get to do a review of carl's book but i definitely will do one um i don't know i'm pretty excited to do one there's another book that i want to uh do a video review of as well and it came out ages ago but um pretty excited about that one too anyway thanks folks if you like this video please subscribe and click that bell for notifications and give me a like and a comment and all that type of stuff like uh anyway have a good one